Hello and welcome back. So today we are going to discuss another topic from taxonomy that is 16 is our RNA as a molecular chronometer for prokaryotes. So first, what is molecular chronometer? So answer to this is it is a phylogenetic marker. Okay. And it is a highly conserved molecule whose rate of mutation is constant and thus we can use it to construct phylogenetic trees. Okay. So highly conserved molecule can be a RNA, DNA or protein like ubiquitin. Okay. So these are the molecules which are highly conserved. Okay. The sequence, it does not change that frequently. A molecular chronometer can be sequenced directly by the means of enzyme reverse transcriptase. Okay. So some of the examples of uh, molecular chronometers are 16S, 18S, rRNA, REC A gene that is recombinase gene, gene for ATPase enzyme, gyrase beta subunit and heat shock proteins. Okay, so these are some molecular chronometers which are highly conserved and they can be those used to construct phylogenetic trees. Now phylogenetic approach is where evolutionary relatedness is studied and thus we need some genes or a part of a nucleic acid which is highly conserved. Okay, or there is no uh, frequent mutations taking place. Now, what is the criteria for molecular chronometer? So criteria are as follows. It is universally distributed and conserved, functionally homologous, sequentially homologous to line up and genes do not undergo lateral transfer. Genes cannot be located on a plasmid. Okay, so these are the criteria for molecular chronometer. Now the function of the um, Functionally, it should be homologous. That means, uh, suppose you have two particular genes which are similar, okay, in sequence. So the, their function should be similar as well, okay. So that's the meaning here. Next is the properties of molecular chronometer. So properties are again first point is similar. That is, it is universally distributed and conserved, and it has to tick. So tick enough, slow enough so that there is measurable similarities between most distinctly related organism and it should take fast enough so that there are differences in even closely related organisms okay so it should uh, the chrono molecular chronometer should be able to show some similarities between most distinctly related organisms and even differences in closely related organisms and third is it should not be transferred between bacteria by lateral gene transfer or horizontal gene transfer. Now about the molecule 16S rRNA. Okay. It is universal and found in all prokaryotes. This gene shows both highly conserved as well as highly variable genes. This enables phylogenetic covering up for broad range of relationship from species to domain level of uh, domain level to be explained okay so it helps to cover up the broad range relationship or evolutionary relationship between species to the domain level and you can explain the relationship in that particular um, sequence then 16S rRNA is evolutionary ancient and it is conserved. Thus, it is not subjected to lateral gene transfer. Okay, as it is universally present, it is very ancient and conserved. It is not subjected to lateral gene transfer. Then 16S rRNA gene is uh, 1500 base pair long. The information contained by this sequence is statistically enough for comparison to be made between two organisms and it is quickly and easily amplified by PCR so you can easily study this particular molecular chronometer okay okay so this was about 16s rRNA as a molecular chronometer so I hope this video is helpful to you all do like my videos do share my videos with your friends and do subscribe to my channel